We are in Sea Pines at 28 Wood Ibis that just came on the market today. A couple things I want to tell you before we go into the house. Interestingly, this guy over here uh, owns the home over there, which you can't really see, his home. He bought this lot, or this property, tore down the house itself and created a garden over here. So at least for the foreseeable future, you wouldn't have anyone right next door um, to you. And then this is the end of the street down here, a couple homes. This is the home itself that we'll be touring. You can see there's a lot of parking outside. You have this little carport area and another parking space here. So a lot of opportunity for parking. I would imagine that you could get permission to create a small garage here. I know it would only be a one car, but this is, uh, there, there's ample parking here. This goes, goes straight through and out to the back and down, down to the, over to the pool, but we'll go in inside first. The outside looks to be in, in good shape. It was a uh, hard cut stucco um, and redone several years ago. You have a front entry closet here. We come in on the ground floor and it's sort of a flipped uh, property in terms of you have three bedrooms on this first floor level. This has never been rented. It's been owned by the same family for about 33 years. This goes out outside. I think it does. Yeah, so this goes out to the out to the pool. And we'll look at that from outside. Small closet here and then your full bath in here for private ensuite. Nothing particularly fancy in here, but clean and neat. Coming back through, we'll see that door on the other side. This is a huge store, well, big storage closet. There is no elevator in here. I'm going to look and see what's up above here uh, to see if there's any possibility of perhaps converting that to an elevator someday. This is the laundry. And then you have another bedroom off of the pool. These are all guest bedrooms, of course, with tile on, on the floors. You do some updating eventually to these. But of course, as we know, this is all about the beach. Coming back out and over here into the third bedroom downstairs. Very similar setup. Leads out to the pool. This might, you know, if this were my home, I might put the, make this a home office in here. I might. You have another bath here. But I might do, do a home office in here, have this as a guest bedroom, and then this front one as a guest bedroom. Let's go on upstairs. So we come up to the first floor of living space and we have another guest bedroom here. Nice, nice size might have to redo the carpet. It's in good condition. Everything's in good condition. Nothing is, uh, although it it's, was renovated in the early 2000s and, and, and resembles that, you know, the finishes resemble that time frame. Um, it's all very, very clean and, and well done. You wouldn't have to come in and do anything crazy right away. 
This is the Master Suite. We have a bath here as well as over here. Now this, I, I would definitely renovate this and make this a, a special um, a special place. The way that they set this up, while you don't have a di real direct view from the owner's bedroom of, of the ocean, you do have a straight view through here and they have this set up as a as a TV room. You might be able to open this up more, close off the close the bedroom off and open this up more. There are some just some neat possibilities as to what you might be able to, to do. And I'm wondering if that closet downstairs that I showed you doesn't come up into this space. Here I'd have to look at look at it a little bit more closely. But then now we get into the heart of the home. And it, this is just lovely through here. With the <laughs> Thanks. With the views of the, the ocean, of course you have, have this nice at the the nice outdoors, which we'll we'll take a look at in a second, and the this lovely dining room. To give you some perspective, we came up those steps. The owner's suite is over here, the guest suite is over over here. You have a little serving serving bar off of the live off the living room and dining room, and then the kitchen and you can come into the kitchen this way off the hallway as well they have this crazy oven from 1966 um, <laughs> here that which the uh, owners preserved when they did the kitchen renovation several year, years ago um, but you do have stainless steel appliances there's a, an ice maker, I believe, over in the corner here, and then a regular cooktop and stove. So just very interesting. It's a it's a it's a very cool house. And as we come out here, we're going to go outside now into the screen porch. They have beautiful views. There are some windows out here that are, are fogged. I don't know if you saw them from the inside, probably did. Um, so there might be a few windows that would need to be replaced but um, otherwise it seems in in good condition but you can really just take in the beach it's a it's a great view from up here I love love this screen porch and then we're gonna go on downstairs nice gentle walk down the steps downstairs this is the opening when we first came came up to the front of the home they have their gas grill they're not here right now but some storage I'm not sure if these are these aren't that these doors are locked but there's uh, just some some storage in here for beach furniture and things This is the bedroom that, that I said I might use as an office. We have a little bar area out here. Nice size pool. This is all Trex decking. This is the other bedroom. 
This is the access from the door that of the front bedroom to come out to the pool. And then down over here, you have uh, access from the side of the kitchen on down. I believe this is a hardy type uh, board, but I'll double check that. So over here, we have a hot tub, swimming pool, little fire pit over there, putting green right here. I love this. We're, this is all Trex, or a, a Trex-like product. And this takes us right out to the beach. So it's, uh, I think it's a perfect distance from, from the house to the dunes. I'm keeping my shoes on so I don't get the little, little burrs, but I do want to bring you the whole way out here. from the beach side. I'd have to find out about the roof, see how old, sorry, I know it's a little old, see how old the, the roof is. It looks from, from way out here, looks to be in good condition, but, um, but we'd ha have to double check for sure. So I hope this helps. Uh, this is Wood Ibis and I will talk to you soon.